What happens is the heat drives the sulfur and all of that stuff out of it, and at a point it becomes coke. And coke is basically the coal with the impurities burned out of it. That's what you want next to your metal. I could not figure this out. The guys, they assigned this to us, the older Smiths, and we were given a block of metal. Yeah. And they said, uh, and they showed us a cross. And they said, you have X number of time Go to make, make one. one of these. Yep. One block of metal, you can't weld it, one block of metal. And I'll tell you, I scratched my head and I said, no. Uh, yeah. And That's I never did know. that. No. I had no. one of the other Smiths come back and say, I tried to explain it, and he couldn't explain it to me. Well, that's your and job. Finally, you know how you make it. Don't yeah. tell it. Don't Here, tell hold it. this. And then finally, he took, took me to the anvil, and he said, just watch. And uh, so I'm done with it. Okay, here's floor. another type of yeah. knife. Yeah. Now, this is interesting. These are two cable knives. And the cable knives, and the cable knives you etch with acid, and it makes all kinds of funny little like wood grain, like you're seeing a piece of wood from a tree. Mm -hmm. And it's really wonderful. Oh, here's another one that's fun for the kids. It's a horseshoe fish. Oh, that's cool. The kids always want you to make the horseshoe because they think a blacksmith shoes horses. Yeah. And I'll tell them, I shoe horses. Shoot, get away, you stink, you smell. I don't want you around me, shoe away horse. And that's what I'll do for them, I'll make a horseshoe. Now, I'll tell you the easiest way to figure that out and we often have clay up here in a little kid animal. Mm -hmm. And the best way to do it is with a piece of clay. Do you cut it and then bring these out and bring this down? Essentially. So you just let and then hammer this out? Or? So if you have a, col a square column, you yeah. cut a third this way, and then you cut two thirds this way, and then you split and split. In two different planes. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's cool. Whoever came up with that the first time, I'm, I'm impressed. Oh, yeah. Well, I, I assume somebody named Frederick, because they refer to it as Frederick's Cross. And generally, these silly things get named after the guy that thinks them up. There's some real weird guys out there. 